It's CEO here, and a brand new update was just released for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, I had many comments on my Nook's Cranny update video that there will be no more updates. But the Nintendo gods have answered our prayers. Remember, the keywords for the updates were that there will be no more free major updates. Minor free updates are still on the table, and Nintendo just proved this. This is super exciting because this shows Nintendo has not forgotten about New Horizons and is still actively working to make the game better and better. So I'm sure you're dying to know what these updates were, so let's jump into the video. Now I was really hoping that this 2.0.5 update would introduce some new items because in the previous update we got the full Zodiac set. That was kind of a small update and it looks like that didn't carry over into 2.0.5. So in this update, they did fix an issue where the player could not progress through the explanation about Phototopia under specific conditions after moving to another island. So this sounds like to me if you were playing Animal Crossing on one Switch and then you either transferred your villager or you transferred your entire island to a different Switch, this would cause this glitch in Phototopia. I've never heard of this before, but I'm glad it's fixed because I'm sure this was pretty annoying to encounter. An issue was fixed where the game would not progress after a message was displayed when a conversation had started and a lot of furniture items had been placed on the island. Now what this sounds like to me is that if your island had a lot of furniture and items placed outside and then you went to talk to a villager in a conversation, then that would cause a glitch. Otherwise, I'm not sure where you would even encounter this error. Pretty annoying that the game would just not progress after that happened. And a lot of these updates do fix that the game would just stop running. So that's, they seem pretty major, but at least Nintendo is finding them and fixing it. They fixed an issue where Luna will repeat the explanation related to the search by island name option over again. So this is just something in the Dream Suite. If you don't have Nintendo online, you probably would have never encountered this. And honestly, if you're spamming B over and over like I do, I wouldn't even have noticed if this happened to me. I would have just thought it's another menu just to spam B through. Fixed an issue where island residents would wear custom designs as a different pattern type than how the custom design was displayed in the tailor shop. So if you had a custom design, let's say it was a hat, but when your villager wore the design around your island, they would wear it as a shirt. So that's really odd. I wonder if I've ever seen that, just didn't realize it. Fixed an issue where an island resident visiting a player's home would remain in the player's home after the player used the room sketch app using the Happy Home Network app or the custom designs portal during the visit. So this sounds like an issue that would occur when villagers would come into your house. I know that was a new feature in the 2.0 update and this was triggered using certain apps in the game. Now that sounds pretty funny. I would love to like encounter that and have and use the apps and then the villager was just chilling in my house, a permanent villager. Why can't you and a villager be roommates? Like I would totally be roommates with Blue Bear on my island. We have roommates in Happy Home Paradise. Why don't we have roommates on your main island? Fix an issue where a player would use a door decoration when remodeling the home of an island resident, but the door decoration would sometimes be removed when a new day started. You can't remodel any island residents' uh, houses unless you've completed Happy on Paradise. So this is kind of a DLC issue, although it's, it's listed under just general issues. Other adjustments and corrections were made to improve the gameplay experience. Now I'm looking forward to, you know, figuring out what those were and hopefully, honestly, in an ideal world, you wouldn't even notice because they're making your experience better and anything better should just be seamless. Then there are also updates directly related to the DLC, the Happy Home Paradise game. Fix an issue where the player could not progress past the loading screen when trying to visit a vacation home if the player previously released an ant or fly in the yard of that vacation home while the conditions for ants or flies to appear were not met. Now, I didn't know until recently that you could even use bugs as decorations, like the live bug in a vacation home outside. So when I read this, I was like, what? But it kind of makes sense. Don't even know how someone could release an ant or fly if the conditions were not even met yet. So that in itself sounds like a glitch that would just trigger another glitch. Fixed an issue where subsequent events would not progress properly if the player closed the software during a specific point while working on a facility. Now this did happen to me. I was working on the hospital. Well, Lottie forced me to work on the hospital. I was trying to save and quit, but I got roped into doing a hospital and I simply, I just like quit the game. I just exited out. I didn't even save. And I guess I'm lucky because my game didn't glitch, but apparently if you did that, like I did, um, you could cause some serious problems. So that's good that's fixed. Literally anything that would go wrong 
I would have a heart attack and think the island will get deleted. So I'm really glad they have remedied my potential heart attacks for New Horizons. Other adjustments and corrections were made to improve the gameplay experience. So again, looking forward to maybe noticing, maybe not noticing these improvements to the DLC. I play a lot of Happy Home Paradise on my Twitch streams, so I'm looking forward to things being better. Maybe we'll have a better Happy Home showcase at the end when you're done with your build because some of those shots are really bad. Half of them are just facing a wall. You don't even get to see like your decorations or the villagers. So maybe that will be something that they fix. Hoping, I'm hoping. And those were all of the updates included in the 2.0.5 Animal Crossing New Horizons update. I was super excited when I heard there was an update and nothing too major was added, just a lot of bug fixes, which is also great because you don't want to be playing New Horizons a few years into the future and encounter all these bugs. So I'm really happy Nintendo is actively working on making the game better, fixing the bugs, so we can enjoy New Horizons for a very long time. Also, let me know in the comments if you experienced any of these issues before. I'm curious to know your experience while playing the game. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Animal Crossing videos. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope it helps. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.